That press is daunting, but also absolutely a challenge. The print studio that they have is one of the most amazing studios ever seen in a university environment. It's hands-on. I mean, watching Tom doing a demo earlier and printing my plate in front of them, all of a sudden you get the realization that this is something that you can do. Wow. Ooh, look at oh, wow. Us. Lots of things happen. So every semester, Island Press invites an artist in residence to come for a week to produce a unique print. So they go from conception to realization. They work with the master printer, Tom Reed, with the director, Lisa Bolowski, and also with a range of students. You're working in a professional studio, but at the same time, you're looking at what students are doing, and they're getting a chance to see what you're doing. And I really enjoy that. Every person, you know, approaches it differently, but watching her intuitively work with these materials is so fascinating. The key idea here is that it's a collaborative investigation. So that Tom and Lisa, they will work with an artist to kind of think through some initial ideas. They'll try out different kinds of printmaking techniques. They'll mix things together. They'll really follow the artist's lead in whatever direction that they want to go. Because I think everybody who's engaged in that process really learns something and furthers their own practice. Working with Diane Victor uh, was so interesting because she has an intensity of working. So once we actually gave her a plate to work with, she had an image in her mind and kind of went for it without hesitation. And it's, I think it's good for artists who've been working, certainly like myself, too long, well not too long, but for a long time in one field, and you become very comfortable and perhaps a bit stiff. And it's been really good because it's forced me to adapt and, and, and kind of flex. And then the Kemper Art Museum is actually the archive for Island Press. So the Kemper has one example of every print that is made at Island Press in our permanent collection. So what you're getting is a whole range of different artists with completely different backgrounds. So of course you're going to have a whole range of different kinds of artworks that are produced. Some things that are traditional 2D, but I think the press is often really engaged in kind of moving outside of that traditional notion of a two-dimensional print, moving into um, some things that are more sculptural, a few things that are actually participatory. I think as the years go by, they're just becoming more and more enthusiastic about the different possibilities in the contemporary world of printmaking. It's, it's great working in front of students. You've out there to try and show that you're gonna work just as hard as they can, or harder. There's that interface that you wouldn't get in a, in a normal graphic studio. You would never get those experiences if you're not in the fold, you're not a fly on the wall watching these processes happen. So it's just really cool.